But based on your experience at Kaverna Engineering, how does the current offering of duplexes meet the needs of end users in challenging environments? Well, uh, within Norwegian uh, offshore market, we are following offshore standards, which uh, give us some restrictions regarding the use of duplex and super duplex uh, stainless steels in marine, marine offshore environment. For example, for certain applications, such, uh, like uh, seawater applications, we, we see a gap between use of uh, 25 chromium super duplex, which is the limit, uh, limited to 20 degrees Celsius, according to Norsok uh, standard. And uh, or above that temperature, we need to go to titanium, which is much more, uh, much more expensive material uh, compared to 25 chromium super duplex. In this matter, we need to work with the suppliers uh, of the material in order to find a, a better competitor to titanium uh, when it comes to the price. Duplexes have become the workhorse of the offshore environment, so what further developments do you expect to see in the future? Very good question, uh, because um, the, the material selection for offshore process piping before was mainly based on carbon steel, and this, um, this material selection has changed more and more to duplex and super duplex. In our latest topside projects, uh, up to 98% of material selection for process piping is based on duplex and super duplex grades. And this pushes the offshore process efficiency forward. But uh, we see a development also um, based on materials over 25 chromium superduplex. Uh, I talk about hyperduplex grades. So how well are duplex manufacturers responding to the needs of the offshore industry? They respond very, very well. And uh, they are very active. And we are in continuous discussions with each other. And they are very interested to take part of our experience and feedback.